Hi everyone, so those of you that have followed this channel for a while will know that when it comes to Christmas, I am not a really materialistic person. I don't like to spend crazy amounts at Christmas. I really, really dislike being force fed into like all the adverts and all the like stuff, 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 Black Friday, rah, all that kind of stuff. I, I dislike that children are, you know, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of like this greed, this like expectation. So my girls will make a Father Christmas list, but they will, I will always say to them, you might not get everything on the list. You might not get any of it. Like it's just ideas for Father Christmas because I don't like that expectation that you always just get that. Like it's just a given because not everyone is in the position to be able to do that. And even if I am, that doesn't mean that I should. It just means, you know, I want to teach my children to value life a little bit more and value kindness and the simpler things in life and not always have to fix how they feel with stuff and that might seem a bit deep and a bit over the top for christmas and i'm sure there'll be many parents that will disagree but just know that my children have loads of fun at christmas we we will they get presents they get lots of presents of other people but i just don't like this perpetuated myth that we just have to have stuff 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 um because it's not good for us and it's it doesn't make us feel good in the long run i also just like this whole like competitive nature i see like pictures of people with a million presents on facebook and they're like is this enough and i'm like oh get over yourself will you you know there's people out there that can't afford one present and they're watching when well, they're seeing that and feeling really rubbish about themselves and yeah so that that's my thoughts in general i just don't like the whole stuff thing so i was really pleased when channel mom who i'm a vlogger for decided that they would put together a kindness advent calendar so rather than stuffing our faces full of chocolate you can do that as well it's totally fine um each day you will be given something where you can a task to do something kind for somebody else and they're really simple stuff it could be um writing a letter for the postman a woman it could be giving somebody some compliments and there's also there's two different versions so there's one there's a christmas one and then there's one if you don't believe in christmas and it, or it conflicts with your views and it's just a kindness advent calendar it doesn't have to be kindness calendar um so you could print off one of those i'm going to put the link in the description below so me and the girls looked at the calendars and we decided we would pick one that we would share with you guys so that you can see that what we did and the girls decided they would like to give some food to a food bank i explained what food banks do the girls have always been really um interested in homelessness and helping people that are less fortunate and i explained that with food banks sometimes it's not people that are homeless as such it's people that have just fallen on hard times and that any one of us could be in that position at some point in our lives and wouldn't we hope that people would help us out. So we have decided today to head on over to our local drop-off point, which happens to be Tesco. So I think, I'm assuming Tesco's do this up and down the country and they just have a basket at the end of the shop and you put whatever you can offer into that basket. So today we are going to be heading over to Tesco in Coventry and we, my girls are shouting in the background. We are gonna be heading there and we're gonna do a full shop and um, and get some of the things that they need. Make sure to check at your local food bank if you're gonna do this, what they actually need because they have a list on there of things that they will need in their local area. Um, usually things like rice and, and things that last for a bit longer, pastas and things like that. So have a look, see what they need and I'm gonna share with you what we do. See you later, bye. So today we have decided to come along to Tesco where you can donate money to a food bank. Um, so we're going to go around and we're going to pick some things to do. Is that right, Tex? And, we're gonna, and Brookie, yeah. And we're going to pick some things to give to people. It looks like our local area mostly needs toiletries. So we're going to go and pick some things. Tex, do you know why we're doing that? Do you know? Do you know Brooke? Brooke, can you come around here, please? Yeah. So Let Tex answer first. Um, so people can get some food and we can buy them so people might not um, have enough money to buy it. And so it's a nice thing to do, isn't it? If we can help, we'd like to help. Is that right, Brooke? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go and head in there now and pick some bits, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we are just looking for toiletries and things like that. Texas, uh, Texas pot, Peppa Pig. If you can grab two of those down there, 
Actually, no, take four of them. Take all of those ones because you can get more in those. So we're trying to get as, we're trying to get the value ones because it means we can get more of them. No, Texie's got it. You help Texie down there because they're heavy. Okay, really important, but tampons and things like that for women. If you can go on that bottom aisle, darling, yeah, that's all. Awesome. And if you can get two packets of those ones, yeah, good girl, that's fantastic. Really important, obviously something we can't do without, but unfortunately some people can't afford to get what they need, so we can help. The girl's doing really well now, what have we just put in there, girls? Some juices. Some juice, some we've got nappies. We've got some um, noodles, toothpaste, toothbrushes. So now we're going to go and look for some tinned fruit. That's what else is on the list, yeah? And some coffee. Off we go. Let's go. We're just checking out the different prices of coffee. And we've tended to stick with everything that we can get on basics. So you go on the bottom aisle, darling. We're going to get the basics ones for everything so we can get as much as we possibly can. Yeah, so if you can get those, get two of those. Okay, good girl, Brookie, pop it in nice and neat for us. Good girl, well done. Just getting some rice now. You got some rice there, Tex? Yep, go and put that in then, darling. Okay, good girls. And now we're gonna head and go and get some dried fruit. Let's go, go, go. donations are going to go in here so girls I'm going to need your help you're going to need to fill this up okay I think we are going to fill it up and look some other kind people have put some food in there as well fantastic and the lovely lady at the till just asked us why we've done this um, and I just said because we have it's cost us 33 quid which is absolutely nothing in comparison to what that can give and we will do it again before Christmas as well Good girls, well it's done. Christmas it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. Don't break anything. So I actually feel really good about what we did today and um, it's actually now I've realized how easy it is to do that I will just add on to my normal shopping you can see that a lot of people do that they just add a couple of extra items on and then just pop it in to the um, the basket at the end we've actually filled the basket so um, but for 33 quid it was really nothing and I can do that now and then and I think it'd be a good thing so try and join and do the same if you can hi guys so just a quick roundup after doing our food bank stuff this morning I really thought it was a positive experience for me and for the girls and it made me realize that it was you know it was quite an easy thing to do and we can all just give a little bit and so it's really important for me that we do that so over this Christmas period or oh, and beyond you don't have to do it just because it's Christmas make sure that you're doing good things for other people and, and just being kind and reaching out to people and asking how people are because that's how we connect as humans. I know we do a lot of stuff online, but let's connect in real life as well and, and actually say hello and ask how people are doing and just be loving towards each other. I know personally for us, this Christmas will be challenging and you know there are a lot of other people in a similar position. So reach out to people and make sure to click the link in the description below and print out your own kindness advent calendar and let me know how you get on tag me in it on facebook or twitter or instagram links will be below on youtube let me know how you've got on and make sure to watch some of the other vloggers on channel mom who are all doing similar things and sharing with you the kind things that they are doing as well i'll speak to you all soon <laughs>